Welcome to Maths Companion. Let us recall what we have learned in the last video. The sides of any triangle of angles 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to root 2. In any triangle of angles 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree, the sides are in the ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2. There were two homeworks. Let us take the answers now. First problem, the diagonal of a square is 4 cm long. Find the perimeter and area. Let us take a square at first. Let it be ABCD. Given that the length of the diagonal is 4 cm. Now look at the triangle ABD. This angle is a right angle. Therefore, it is a right angle triangle. These two sides are equal. Therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. That means ABD is an isosceles right angle triangle. Therefore, this angle is 90 degree and these two angles are 45 degree. We know the ratio of a triangle with angles 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Therefore, AB is to AD is to BD is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. We know BD is 4. So let us replace BD by 4. So we can write AB is to AD is to 4 is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. AB and AD are equal. So if we know AB, we can find AD. So let me take the ratio between AB and 4. That is equal to 1 is to root 2. That is AB is to 4 equal to 1 is to root 2. Now we know product of the n terms equal to product of the middle terms. That is AB into root 2 equal to 4 into 1. 4 into 1 is 4. To find AB, let us take root 2 on the other side. Therefore, we can say AB equal to 4 by root 2. Now root 2 is in the denominator. To remove it, let us multiply both numerator and denominator by root 2. So we can write this is equal to 4 into root 2 by root 2 into root 2. Root 2 into root 2 is 2. So this can be written as 4 into root 2 by 2. 2 to serve 4. Simplifying we get AB is equal to 2 into root 2 or 2 root 2 centimeters. That means we got one side of the square. So we can find the area and perimeter. What is the perimeter of a square? 4A or 4 into one side. Here one side is 2 root 2 centimeters. Therefore, perimeter is 4 into 2 root 2 centimeters. Multiplying we get 8 root 2 centimeters. Now, what is the area of a square? A square or square of the side. Here one side is 2 root 2 centimeter. Therefore, area is 2 root 2 square. How can we find the square of this? 2 root 2 means 2 into root 2. 2 square is 4 and root 2 square is 2. Therefore, 2 root 2 square is 4 into 2 or 8. That means area of this square is 8 centimeters square. Second problem, AC and BC are two equal chords with a diameter AB. If the equal chords have lengths 10 centimeter, find the area of the circle. We know angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Therefore, this angle is 90 degree. This is 45 degree, therefore angle at B is also 45 degree. That means this is a triangle with angles 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree. Therefore the ratio of the sides is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. That means if this side is 1, then this is also 1 and this side is root 2. But this side is 10, therefore this is also 10 and this side AB is 10 root 2 centimeters. AB is 10 root 2 means the diameter of the circle is 10 root 2. Then what is the radius? Radius is half the diameter. Therefore, radius of the circle equal to 5 root 2 centimeters. Area of the circle is pi r square where r is the radius of the circle. Here, radius of the circle is 5 root 2 centimeters. Therefore, area is pi into 5 root 2 all square. 5 square is 25 and root 2 square is 2. So this can be written as pi into 25 into 2. 25 into 2 is 50. Therefore, area of this circle is 50 pi square centimeters. 
Now let us do some more problems using what we have learned in the last video. What is the ratio of the sides of this triangle? Here this angle is 45 degree, this is 30 degree and this is 105 degree. We have learned only two types of triangles. One with the angles 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree and the other with angles 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Here the angles are 30 degree, 45 degree and 105 degree. How can we find the ratio of the sides of this triangle? One angle is 45 degree and another angle is 30 degree. Suppose we draw a perpendicular from this vertex to this side, we get a 90 degree angle here. That means we can split this triangle into two triangles in which we know the ratio of the sides. This angle is 30 degree and this is 45. Let us give a name. Now let us draw a perpendicular from A to BC. Let it meet at D. Now we know this is a right angle. Since this is 45, this angle is also 45. This is 30, therefore this angle is 60. And 60 plus 45 is 105. Now look at triangle ABD. The angles are 45 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree. Therefore, the ratio of the sides is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. That means, if BD is 1, then AD is 1 and AB is root 2. Let us take BD as X. Then AD is also X and AB is root 2 X. Now, look at triangle CDA. We know the smallest side is opposite to the smallest angle. Here, 30 degree is the smallest angle. So, AD is the smallest side. And we know the ratio of the sides of the triangle with angles 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. That means if AD is 1, then CD is root 3 and AC is 2. But here AD is X, therefore CD is root 3X and AC is 2X. Now look at the large triangle. The smallest side is opposite to the smallest angle. Here 30 degree is the smallest angle, opposite to that is AB, then comes 45 degree, opposite to that is AC, then comes the largest angle, opposite to that is BC. So we can say ratio of the sides is AB is to AC is to BC. BC can be written as BD plus CD, so we can write AB is to AC is to BD plus CD. AB is root to X. AC is 2X and BD is X, CD is root 3X. Replacing the values we can write, ratio of the sides is equal to root 2X is to 2X is to root 3X plus X. Now look at root 3X plus X. This is root 3 into X, this is 1 into X. Taking X outside, we can write this as root 3 plus 1 into X. So this can be written as root 2x is to 2x is to root 3 plus 1 into x. Now in every term you can see x. Dividing each and every term by x we can write this as root 2 is to 2 is to root 3 plus 1. That means the ratio of the sides of this triangle is root 2 is to 2 is to root 3 plus 1. Another problem. In the triangle shown, what is the perpendicular distance from the top vertex to the bottom side? What is the area of the triangle? Let us give a name for the triangle. Let it be ABC. C is the top vertex. Let us draw the perpendicular from C to AB. Let it be CD. We have to find the length of CD and area of triangle ABC. The two sides of triangle ABC are equal. Therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. The perpendicular drawn from the vertex joining equal sides to the opposite side bisect this angle and the side opposite. That is, this perpendicular divides this angle into two equal parts. Therefore, each angle is 60 degree. And it divides AB into two equal parts. Therefore, AD and BD are equal. Since these two angles are equal, this is 60 degree. 
Now we know this angle is 90 degree. Therefore, angle A is 30 degree. So, triangle ADC is a triangle with angles 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Therefore, the ratio of the sides of this triangle is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. In this triangle, the smallest side is CD and the longest side is AC. Therefore, we can say CD is to AD is to AC is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. We need to find the length of CD. We know AC is 4. So, let us take CD and AC. CD is to AC is 1 is to 2. AC is 4. Replacing AC by 4, we get CD is to 4 equal to 1 is to 2. 2 into 2 is 4. Therefore, CD equal to 1 into 2 or 2. Or you can do like this. CD into 2 equal to 4 into 1. Or CD into 2 equal to 4. Therefore, CD equal to 2. That means, length of CD is 2 cm. Or the perpendicular distance from the top vertex to the bottom side is 2 cm. Now we have to find the area of this triangle. Area of a triangle is half BH. B means one side. We can take AB as one side. Then CD is H. To find AB, let us first find AD. We know the ratio of the sides of this triangle is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. That is, if CD is 1, AD is root 3 and AC is 2. Here CD is 2. Therefore, AD is 2 root 3. We know AD and BD are equal. Therefore, BD equal to 2 root 3. Therefore, AB equal to 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 or 4 root 3. Now, we can find the area of the triangle. Area of the triangle is half BH. That is half into AB into CD. AB is 4 root 3 centimeters and CD is 2 centimeters. Replacing the values, we get area of the triangle equal to half into 4 root 3 into 2. Half into 2 is 1. 1 into 4 root 3 is 4 root 3. Therefore, the area of this triangle is 4 root 3 centimeters squares. Today, we have done some problems using the ratios which we have learned. Now, there is a homework. In each of the following parallelograms, find the distance between the top and bottom side. Calculate the area of each parallelogram. We shall discuss the remaining questions in the next video. Till then, bye.